radio like this is made possible by listeners like you. Your tax-deductible donation helps keep your community radio station on the air. Just visit kpft.org this hour to contribute. Thank you for your support. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at KPFT Houston. You're listening to KPFT Houston. It's 7 o'clock and time for Songwriter's Studio. I'm your host, Tom Tarantula. We come to you every week bringing you local and regional and some national artists with new releases. Thank you so much for tuning in to KPFT Independent Radio, Community Radio. My guest today is Rachel Lavin. Let me see if I can get her up. Are you with me, Rachel? I am. How's it going, Tom? Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for spending 30 minutes with us tonight on Songwriter's Studio. Uh, I'm happy to be here. You're on the road right now, I guess, right? I am. I'm calling you from Cloudcroft, New Mexico. I'm uh, about to record a record with my bluegrass band, Sweet Shad and Honey. Oh, excellent. And we, yeah, yeah. We head up to Colorado in a couple of days and do some shows up there, and then back to San Antonio for a week. And that's <laughs> where you're residing right now, right? San Antonio? Yeah, yeah. That's the hometown. Right down the street from Houston. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a short drive. <laughs> I had the pleasure of hearing you for the first time at uh, the Kerrville Music Festival just here two months ago. And, uh, oh, what a ball. Not only did you play there, but you uh, were one of the six winners of the Kerrville 2016 songwriter, uh, songwriter Contest and New yeah, Folk. New folk. <laughs> yeah, it was a great, hopefully a great opportunity for you because the new record you have out is just stellar. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was absolutely a great opportunity and, and to showcase some of those tunes, but also just to make some friends. I made some excellent musical friends from all over the country and even all over the world at that, that trip, so I feel lucky just to have been part of it. Uh, is that your first time to attend the festival? Not attend. I've been attending it probably since I was 12 years old, but um, it's my first time entering New Folk, so to make it in and, and then to win it was just insane. I've been watching those guys play those concerts for years so to be up on that stage and you know standing next to dallas allen was just a treat an absolute treat saying to yourself i can do that i need to enter right <laughs> <laughs> yeah for years and years and, and kind of chicken and out for a long time <laughs> rachel i saw you with just you and an acoustic guitar and you just uh, not only you you turned a lot of heads there but you made a lot of new fans and you knew record which is a little bit more uh shall i say process not process so much but uh you've Produced got f- for sure it's a uh, full band and stuff and it really really uh um showcases your not only your talent as a singer and songwriter but the whole production on this is just excellent yeah i had an excellent producer Sean Sankey who helped me do everything he was he was phenomenal in, in all aspects um we sat down and spent hours just talking over what we wanted to do and who we wanted to emulate and kind of what kind of sound we were going for and i think we with the product that we got was just excellent rachel is this your first really release tough. it isn't so i've done a few albums with my late with the lavens my family band um we did some some live concerts that we recorded um and then i released an album in 2012 uh, with producer Joe Reyes, who's a good friend of mine, um, titled Unwind. So this is my second solo release. Well, you just corrected my pronunciation of your name. I always thought it was Lavin. It's Lavin. <laughs> Lavin, like Raven with an L. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Rachel, let's jump into track one. I got to admit, there is no songs on here that sound alike. You did a great job, and had, uh, you know, hats off to your producer for the song choices you did. They're all different tempos and different styles and different lyrics. And you even uh, included a Walt Wilkins tune did, on here, which he is was, very good. I was good. really lucky to, to have had the chance to talk to him and, and get to record that song. I fell in love with it the first time I heard it and had to learn it, so... I'm really happy it made it on the record. So am I. Matter of fact, I'm going to make you 
let you make the call on the last song we spin today. And if you want to spin that song, you're absolutely welcome to. Right now, we're going to start out with Finish, finish Line. Tell us a little bit about this track. Yeah, so Finish Line I actually wrote at the Curvo Folk Festival last year um, when I went with my, my buddy Sam, who's in this bluegrass band with me. And I was sitting in my tent and kind of thinking about a relationship I'd just gotten in that I wanted to take it slow and write a song about taking it slow. And uh, that's, that's pretty much what came out from that. I love it. Let's jump into it right now. <laughs> Finish Line, the new, name of the brand new album, Love and Luke Casey's. Rachel Laven, brand spanking new mission, uh, music off her brand new album, Loving Lou Casey's. A little tongue twister going on there. Excellent song. <laughs> Rachel, that, that could be a hit on the country station, hands down. Really, really uh, good. I hope so. I hope they'll play it. <laughs> hey, you got any promoters working with you right now to get this out to the uh, uh, the big labels? Not yet. I'm working on a, a couple of promoters and getting them to bring their prices down. <laughs> You know that's the problem nowadays. You got to pay, whereas in the old day they they sought the uh, artists out. Now it's just the opposite. You have to pay yeah, them. Yeah, the artists got to uh, pay, man. That's right, and it's not cheap. I'm aware. No, it's not. It's definitely not. So I'm saving my money trying to get some sponsorships and, and hopefully attack it this year. Having listened to the record uh, track after track, every song on this album is good. There's no reason this you can't uh, find somebody to pick a major label to pick this record up. I got to admit. Uh, 
I, I was really shocked when I listened to this, and every song was excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Let's jump into track number two. Tell us a little bit about Each Other's Shoes. Yeah, so I wrote that song. Uh, it's another song. I've, I've got this boyfriend that, that keeps making me write songs about him. He's quite the muse. Um, but I wanted to write a song that kind of tackles love in a different way and kind of tackles all the ways in which you love somebody, whether that's almost like you love them like a mother or a lover or a, a child or a friend. Um, I think when you really love someone, you kind of play all of those roles. And so I wanted to write a song where you kind of take those different perspectives and, and apply them to love in a relationship. So. I like that. I can relate to that. Let's yeah. jump into this. It's track number two off the record. The brand new record is called Love and Luke Casey's. Each Other's Shoes, brand new music. 
And what a great mm-hmm. album this is. Rachel Lavin is my guest today on Songwriter Studio, and the new album is just stellar. It's called Love and Lucases. I love the record. I love mm-hmm. the songs. And what a great song. The lyrics are, are very, very, very cleverly written. Thank my you. compliments. Which that songs, one came floating out. <laughs> which songs got you into Kerrville this year? Uh, the Only Thing Familiar, which is on this record. Um, and then Wildfires, which is a song I'm recording with Sweet Shine this weekend. You play in, I've, I see the photo of the guitar you're playing on the cover of this. Is this a small builder? It looks like some kind of maple custom guitar. It is a custom guitar. It's it's made by my good friend Michael Armand, who uh, makes a bot acoustic out of Louisiana, LeCount, Louisiana. And uh, I happened upon him through a friend of mine, um, Simon Kelly and Rebecca Rosewell, who play with the Rosalies. And they're an English couple, but they tour throughout Louisiana and Texas every year. And I happened to go on tour with them on one of their Louisiana jaunts, and met Michael and saw his whole studio, played in his theater, and fell in love with the guitar that's on the cover, and, and he was he was kind enough to make me a deal. <laughs> well, it so. looks like he engraved your name on the 14th fret here. Yeah, so he, he engraved my initials, um, Regal. Oh, okay. That's clever. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of fine print on the cover of the CD. It's a little hard to read, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> what a great looking guitar that maple you can see the uh sides and the spruce top what a beautiful oh, it's instrument absolutely beautiful i'm gonna you jump can right on the record the, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> i figured so when you have a guitar like that you have to play it in the studio right oh definitely <laughs> do you dare the next track on the record tell us a little bit about this you pick up the pace you play a little rock and country on this yeah so i, I was at southwest regional folk alliance and i got a it's kind of tradition there to, to pick a, a little piece of paper out of a hat and write a song with it, whatever prompts on the little piece of paper. Um, and the one that I got was The Secret to Life is to Dare. And it was just so poignant for that year because I'd finally kind of gotten the, I don't know, I want to say balls, but that's a little inappropriate. <laughs> but I'd gotten the guts to talk to some people that I'd been intimidated by ahead of time. Um, and I was finally, you know, making the plunge and doing music full time, so... I kind of needed a a pick me up song. A, do you dare to take this plunge? Do you dare to do this? Um, so I wrote "Do you dare" kind of as a as a pep talk song. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about your electric guitar player on this, uh, Mark Saseda. Yeah, Mark Saseda. I uh, worked with him at Cowboys Dance Hall. I met him through through the club, and I was working there as a, a hired gun guitar player, and he was the the hired gun lead guitar player, and um. I ended up using him and a couple of the other guys out of the band. And they are just some of the best musicians in San Antonio. And they're, it's hard to find, but they're they're absolutely excellent. His guitar work on this album throughout is really stellar. Not only is he an excellent rock player, but that last track, especially Each Other's Shoes, very melodic, mm-hmm. very just really tasty stuff. He doesn't walk oh, yeah. on the vocals. He doesn't walk on any of the other instrumentation. He comes in and comes out where he needs to. I love this track. Let's listen to it right now. All right. Do you dare? Secret to a good life is dead. 
dare i'll tell you what if that doesn't make you want to get up and dance there's something wrong with you (laughs) what a great song that should be a release right there yeah yeah that's the one that we want to push on radio i I, absolutely you you (laughs) get this one uh clicking in the dance halls you get people up this is a great song thank you (laughs) rachel not only are you putting these chord uh, progressions together you're doing writing all the lyrics and the vocals as well correct yes for most of the tunes yeah now, you've got some co-writes on here, and, and we talked a little earlier about you do one cover, uh, Walt Wilkins. By the way, I, I'd like to close the show out with that, if it's okay with you. Your that your version of it is just beautiful. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we Actually, we just got Billy Q just called in, and he's just he, he's enthralled. He thinks you're the greatest. So uh, we're going to give a hey out to Billy. And uh, tell Billy, you, Billy and all the other listeners out there where they can contact you, uh, order a copy of this brand new excellent album, and check your tour schedule to see when you're coming to town. Absolutely. So if you go to rachellavenmusic.com, so my last name is spelled L A V E N, uh, you can find any music tour bookings, anything you want to contact me, all that. Um, I'm also all over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and all the other social media sites you can get your hands on. So. <laughs> And I'm pretty if, easy to find. If you got some friends that are listening to this show and they want to hear the show in its entirety, just go to kpft.org and go to the archives, On Demand, Archives, 7 p.m., Songwriter Studio, and you can listen to the show in its entirety. And listen to all these songs again. I'll tell you, this is just an excellent, excellent album. Let's talk a little bit about this. this the name of the album is Love and Lucases. The name of the mm-hmm. artist, Rachel Lavin. And... Uh, Every song in this record, you do the ballads, you do the rock and roll, you do the country. It's just uh, from cover to cover. I can't, uh, I can't rave about this record enough. It's just stellar. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun to make, and I'm, I'm happy to be finally putting it out there and I'm trying to get as many ears listening to it as possible. I wish you great success. Listen, we're down to uh, the wire here. We've got enough for one long track, and I'm going to leave it up to you. Do you want to play that? You want me to spin that uh, Walt Wilkins written tune? Sure, if you'd like to. That's yeah. absolutely all right. There's a title track, too. There's a Only Thing Familiar. Any of those are great. Okay. Let You want to spin the uh, title track? We haven't even gotten to that. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Let's do that. Let's. Uh, if they want to hear Walt Wilkins' cover tune, they're just going to have to buy the record, right? There you go. There you go. I think for- it's on Spotify as well. Before you we go send off the me air, a, a few percentages to, of, of cents. <laughs> to give these list, the listening audience one more time, how to contact you? Where's your website and schedule? Yeah, so www.rachellavenmusic.com. You can find me on the Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, any social media you like. And real quick, are you going to be at Southwest Regional Folk Alliance this year? I will. I got an official showcase with my band, Sweet Shine and Honey. So we're playing on Friday oh, night. Oh, excellent. So that was my next question. Are you going to be with a full band? I will. I'll be with a full bluegrass band. So I'll be there. We're going to do some tunes, and I can't wait. I'll be there. I'll see you. Awesome. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to KPFT Songwriter Studio, Rachel, Rachel Lavin's the artist tonight, and her brand new excellent album is called Love and Lucases. Please stay tuned. Up next, Whole Mother. Thanks again, Rachel. Have a great evening. Thank you. You too. One, two, three, four. 
With a smile on her face and a tear in her eye She handed me her boots and said I hope they fit you right I slipped one foot in and much to my surprise We had the same damned feet that we rolled to the side They suited her well across these wide open spaces I got my grandmother's love in an open of the cases And after the war with her country shambles. She left her fate to the government and made it a gamble. And they tossed the dice and she sailed to the States with four kids in tow and two more on the way. And they suited her well across these wide open spaces. I got my grip. I hope they fit you right.